Leather and loud pipes. The bikers of Abate, Florida were out in full force at the state capitol Monday asking for stricter penalties for drivers who kill bikers on the road. Kill a motorcyclist, they get an $82 fine. That's all they get. The uh, failure to yield that. But if you do that in a car and hit somebody else in a the car, they're getting vehicular manslaughter. The names of bikers killed in wrecks last year were read aloud. Diane Squeaky Beckman. 56 bell chimes were sounded, one for each life lost. Bikers say the biggest danger they face is drivers distracted by their cell phones. Texting, even using a cell phone while you're driving, I mean, that, that's, that's like having a gun. And if someone's texting while driving and hits someone on two wheels, the consequences can be much greater than hitting another car. Carl Gages is constantly on the lookout for drivers using their cell phones. People just don't see us. Even when I'm wearing my yellow vest going to work every day at Tyndall Air Force Base, I get people cutting me off. The group split on red light cameras. Some say they make intersections safer. Others believe they increase rear end collisions. Carl calls them intrusive. Big Brother's watching us everywhere. Uh, sometimes it's for good, sometimes it's not for good. The bikers spent the day talking to lawmakers, then headed home, hoping when they return next year, there are fewer bells to ring and fewer bikers lost. In Tallahassee, I'm Whitney Ray reporting.